so I'm here in Trion in Switzerland and from here I'm going to start La Tour du Mont Blanc.
Welcome to this little hut here. It's freezing cold, it's raining the whole day and my whole backpack is wet. And yeah, maybe it's going to snow tomorrow. I'm here in Italy now and whew, it's really cold but I'm almost at the end at Lac Gombal and yeah today I think it's the roughest day because it's raining all day everything is wet and I feel like shit <laughs> And here I have a really good camping spot overlooking all the landscape with the mountains and these glaciers. It's just a beautiful spot here. So I'm really glad I did it today. So I'm here in my tent. It's just 7 p.m. and time to sleep.
so what is the worst thing you can do on this track? It's just getting up in this freezing cold morning and get up out of your back. Oh. Thank you very much for watching my video and now some quick informations if you want to do the TMB as well. So first, what is the TMB? The TMB is a loop of 170 kilometers through three countries, through Switzerland, France and Italy. Then second one, when to go? You can go from early June to late September. In early June there's a lot of snow, late of September it can be really cold. I did it in the first week of August and for me and for a lot of people it's the best because of the best temperatures but yeah the problem is there are a lot of people there and the temperatures in sunny days it could be like 30 degrees um, but at days with bad weather it could be like 10, 5 to 10 degrees like from one day to another so the temperatures can vary a lot and especially at night it can be really cold so if you have a tent you're gonna freeze of course where to sleep you can sleep in the bigger two villages of Les Uches or Courmayeur but it's really expensive a couple of hundred dollars a night then there's a possibility to sleep in refugees in the mountains it's 50 to 80 euros a night also a lot of money for a student and then there's the best option just to bring your tent and camp in the wilderness 
it's not everywhere um, allowed. For example, in Italy, it's everywhere forbidden. In France, you can from 7 p.m. to 9 a.m. And in Switzerland, just above 2,000 meters. But what I saw is that a lot of people, they do what they want, and there's no police in the mountains, and nobody's going to say something against it. So I think you can everywhere where you want. Where to eat? Um, you can eat in the restaurants or in the refugees. A meal is about 20 to 30 euros and what I did and most people also do they just buy their stuff in the two bigger villages and eat their own food but it's gonna be a lot heavier your backpack and how much time you need I had about six days six full days with two half days for transportation and that's what most people did most of the younger people like from five to seven days there are like runners who do it in 2-3 days, that's crazy. And people who do it in 10-14 to 14 days. So you can do whatever you want. I did like 30 kilometers a day, that's a lot. But yeah, it was possible. So these were my quick informations if you want to do the TMB as well. And thank you very much for watching it.